bad adhesion. That happens when a print doesn't stick to the build plate. And to avoid that, many slicers are using different types of bad adhesions. It's something that the slicer do, but which type of bad adhesion you need for your print. Well, in this video, especially for the Creality Print users, I'm going to talk about four different types of bad adhesions within this slicer software, right here in Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. I know I have been there as well. When slicing a model, printing, you see that the print doesn't stick to the build plate. Always make sure when you are going to use your 3D printer that your build plate is as clean as possible, that your bed is leveled and that there is enough space between the nozzle and the build plate. When that is done, maybe you need to use a glue stick or other bad adhesion promoters. There are many types of those, but within slicers, you can also make sure to have the right set bad adhesion. Sometimes when the build surface is a little bit too small, something like a brim helping you more to get prints sticking way better to the build plate. Because the last thing that you want is seeing that your nozzle is kicking the model over. And wasting filament, we all don't want to have that. So let's dive into Creality Print and I will show you the four different types of bad adhesions. So we are back in Creality Print. For this tutorial, I made a profile based upon the normal and I called it bad adhesion. If you want to make some changes, you can do that by selecting the type of profile that you want to use and then select edit. Here, build plate adhesion and it is standard selected on uh, auto brim. But for this first part, we are going to select brim. You don't see anything else to get more possibilities or options to choose from or fine-tune your build plate adhesion you have to select advanced now you get more to choose from like the skirt or brim minimum length 250 millimeters the brim width is 8 millimeters so 8 millimeters wide from the object and uh, brim line count 19 so 19 layers and brim distance 0.10 so that means if you are going to stand on it the horizontal distance between the first brim line and the outer line of the first layer of the print it makes a small gap so officially the brim should not really stick to your 3d model brim replace support it's not selected and brim only on outside so if you have a model that has an outside and an inside but just think about the glass that you put on the top you have only a small portion of the glass touching the build plate the outer side is of course what is outside of the glass the inner side is going to be what's inside of the glass and the build plate so if you want to avoid having brim also on the inside make sure to have this one selected or else you will get some trouble to removing the brim on parts that you didn't want to have any brim so once this is all selected you click on save and now we are going to add the banshee to the build plate and now we are going to slice it yeah well here it is complaining about the supports it is a banshee it should be printed without any supports so as you can see we have a banshee here normally you don't need to have any brim or any bad adhesion for something like a banshee if you don't want to waste this much filament i can fully understand you are going back to prepare into the edit and here instead of this eight you can say like four enter and now you see that the brim line count is going to eight save we are going to slice it again and now you see that the brim isn't that big anymore so we are going to send the file over and we are going to print the banshee Now we are going to the next one. I know that the next one is something that I really want to show, but that I will leave for the last one. Because in many slices, we got brim, we got skirt, and we have a raft. So let's go into the edit and we are going to select raft. Raft, you have to think about like a little boat underneath your 3D model. If you have advanced open, you get different kind of settings where you can play with. But here in this video, in this tutorial, we are going for the standard settings. We click on save and now we are going to slice the model. So now that the model is sliced, you see something totally different than we saw before. So if you go all the way down, you can see exactly how the raft is being built up. You get a first layer, then a second layer, and then a third layer. And on top of the last layer, there your print will be printed on as you can see right here in the example. So we are going to send this print over and uh, let's print that one. Confirm, select the printer, one click printing. Let's go.
The next one is going to be skirt. In the build plate adhesion, we are going to select skirt. Line count, you can use one, but you can also use two or even more lines. I will go for the standard in Prusa Slicer. So let's go for a two line count and let's click on save. Why would you use skirt? A skirt is a priming the nozzle kind of build plate adhesion. It doesn't do anything for your 3D model because if we are going to click on save, you see exactly why. As you can see, we have here now three lines. I thought I selected two lines, but okay. We have here three lines and the last line from the skirt isn't touching the 3D model. Very obvious and very clear. So uh, let's click on land printing. We are going to say skirt confirm and we are going to send the G code because another print is printing currently. Send G code. And now we are going for the last option in Creality Print. We are going for Lace. I have never used that one, but let's see how this build plate adhesion will look like and how it behaves. We are going to select Lace. It says here Skirt Line Count, so it does use a skirt as well. We click on Save. And now Slice. So here we see something happening. So we scroll a little bit further. And here, if we are going for the layer lines, we are going all the way down. And let's see how this lace is going to look like. So you have these, this cloud pattern, this half circles, but also the first layer of the Banshee. So we are going to uh, send this over to the printer. Confirm, like the printer and send G code. So now we are going to check the print results of all four build plate adhesion types. So these were the four build plate adhesion types that I have showed here in this video. We had the brim, we had the raft, we had the skirt, but we also had the lace. The last one for me, it's a very new one, but I have also sliced after the four banshees. I also sliced a model from Wexter. It's the critters because it is Eastern. It's an egg. So I think why not? So also here I use lace and uh, I mean, you know, didn't harm anything and uh, the model looks very nice. So for your future 3D printing pro project or models that you are going to slice, which kind of build plate adhesion are you going to use for your model? Did you know, by the way, that you can also use Prusa Slicer for your Creality K1. If you didn't know, well, check out this video right over here where I show you all the settings that you can use as a standard base template in order to get your Creality K1 with Prusa Slicer right over here.